Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be playing Buddy Simulator 1984 and I know, I know, this isn't a speed run. don't shoot me. I just really wanted to play this game and it hasn't been submitted to the speedrun categories yet so maybe I can be the first one to come up with a speedrun for it, which is something I've been wanting to do. Now all you really need to know before we get started is this is an AI based horror game and from what I've seen it's pretty creepy, so I'm excited to see what happens. I'm a baby about horror games, so this should be interesting. All right, enter help for more assistance. Commands, view ROMs, to be install ROM. So I assume we wanna do view ROMs. I like how this is set up like an old computer monitor. One ROM found, Buddy Simulator 1984. Okay, so we need to type run buddy sim simulator. 1984. I have a loud keyboard, so I apologize in advance. All you gamers know that mechanical keyboard struggle. Okay. Loading Buddy Simulator 1984. Okay. <laughs> Greetings, new user. Thank you for installing Buddy Simulator 1984. Buddy Simulator 1984 simulates the experience of hanging out with a best buddy. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interests and your personality. But most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Yay! I'm so excited. Warning, game experience may vary. To begin, please enter the name of your new buddy below. Hmm, what do we want to name our buddy? Do we name him just Buddy? I feel like that's too simple. We're just gonna name him Timmy. You are about to name your buddy Timmy, is this correct? Warning, this cannot be changed later. I always hate when they give warnings like that because then I'm like, oh, do I really wanna name him Timmy? And then I spend an hour thinking about it instead of just going with it. It makes me second guess myself, but you know what? Yes. We want Timmy. Creating new buddy Timmy. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. My name is Timmy and I'm your new buddy. Thanks for waking me up. Are you li Oh god, that's creepy. Okay, so buddy sim just doxed my actual name, so I'm gonna blank that out. Can I say no? Okay, we're just gonna tell it that my name is Envy instead of my actual name. But that's terrifying. Your name is Envy, yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Envy. I can already tell that we are going to become great pals. That is so freaky. Oh, I'm already freaked out. We just started. I'm excited to begin playing games with you. But before we start, I must ask you a couple questions to help me learn more about you. And don't worry, they won't get too personal. Let's start with a simple one. What is your favorite color? Let's go with black. <laughs> black is too boring. You should pick a different one. Okay, you know what? It wasn't a phase. I'm still an emo kid at heart. Black is my favorite color. Okay, we'll go with purple. Purple is a pretty color. I like purple. What month is your birthday in? April. Okay, great. How about the day? Oh, Buddy Sim just wants me to dox my birthday. That's fine. 27. Wow, that's only 62 days away. Now get ready. This one's a tough one. What is your favorite animal? Ooh, dog. I love all animals, but my dog has a soft spot in my heart. Dog. I like that choice. One more question. This one's extremely important, so choose carefully. If you had a pet dog, what would you name it? I mean, I have a pet dog, but he was adopted, so he came with a name. I feel like it depends on the dog. You know what? I'm just going to follow the fandom. Come at me. Sans. Sans the dog. Sounds like it would make a great buddy. Haha. <laughs> Thanks for answering those questions. You did a great job. As a thanks, I have a little surprise for you. Oh, okay. It's your favorite color. Now that we're done with all the boring stuff, let's have some fun. Okay, that was a little scary, but it was just changing colors. I'm already on edge from this game. 
So this is the game hub where you can pick which games you want us to play. Which one should we try out? One is guess the number, two is hangman, three is rock, paper, scissors. Let's just go down the list and play one. Loading guess the number. Guess the number that Timmy is thinking of. To begin, type start. Start. I'm thinking of a number from one to 10, guess. We're gonna go with six, cause six is my favorite number between one and 10. Sorry, that's not it. Well, seven. Sorry, guess again. Two? Nope, too low. Five? Nope, too high. Three? Nope, too low. Four! <laughs> you got it! Okay, now I'm thinking of a number from 1 to 15. Guess again. Four! <laughs> Sorry, that's not it. Uh, we'll do my other favorite number. 12. No, try again. Um, 14? Nope, too high. Uh, 10? Nope, too high. Five? Yeah! Oh, okay. So it was four and then it was five. Now I'm thinking of a number from one to ten thousand. Oh no. Four twenty. Sorry, that's not it. Oh my god. Is it six? No, try again. Oh boy. Sixty-nine? Here's a hint. It's your birthday? Oh my god, that's creepy. Oh my god, that's so creepy. You probably thought I was serious about the 1 to 10,000 thing, didn't you? Haha, <laughs> I've got another question. What is your favorite season? Probably fall. Fall, I'll keep that in mind. Loading game hub. I know this is supposed to be like friendly and like, haha, <laughs> we're best friends. I know so much about you. Like, I picked this number that's your birthday. But this is just giving me the chills. I have legit goosebumps right now. I get creeped out way too easily. Okay, let's do a game of hangman. Please don't hang me. Instructions, try to figure out what phrase Timmy is thinking of. Type in a letter to guess, but be careful, you only have a certain amount of guesses. To begin, type start. Lives left, six. Guess the letter, A. Oh, dang. T? O? Oh my gosh, I'm already killing this poor dude. H? What other two letter words are there besides like at and of, he, it, w? Oh no, I, okay, f, n, d, find, something and something, i something, something something, find. And it's not too fine. Uh, I only have one life left. E? E N. Oh, Envy is my friend. I bet that's what it is. Yup. Oh, that's cute. That was so quick. How'd you know? I'm having such a great time, aren't you? Yup. I thought so. I'm very creeped out by you, but I'll try and be your friend. All right, so now I think all we have left is rock, paper, scissors, so. Instructions. Timmy wants to play a fun game of rock, paper, scissors. If you are not familiar, the rules are simple. Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, and paper beats rock. First to three wins. Okay, we all know how to play rock, paper, scissors. To begin, type start. Start. Oh. Start. It needs the T at the end. Rock, paper, or scissors. Let's go paper. Oh. Let's go scissors. Okay, so we won. Let's go rock. Now, since this is an AI, it should be able to kick my ass at rock, paper, scissors. Just saying. Let's go rock again. Um, let's go paper. Oh no, we're tied! Uh, one more rock? Oh wait, he switched! 
He switched! Oh my god, did you see that? He was a paper and then he switched to scissors, so I won! I'm so uncomfortable right now. I'm such a baby about games like this. Holy crap. Oof, you got lucky on that one. I know I started existing only 10 minutes and 31 seconds ago, but I already feel like we have a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions, but I have another one. Do you have a friend, like one that's not artificial? The few YouTube subscribers that I have are all my friends, so we're gonna have to say yes. Yes, I do have a friend. What is their name? That's personal information. I'm not just gonna give out my friend's name. Should I say my friend's name is Timmy? <laughs> I named you after my other friend. We're gonna say their name is Joe. Hmm, Joe. They sound nice. Well, if anything ever happens between you two, just know we'll have each other. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my god. Envy and Timmy against the world. I like the sound of that. Okay, let's play more games. Wow, it looks like we have already played all of them. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? I'm going to be honest with you, Envy. These games got old really fast and I can tell that you are already bored of them. I mean, I would play again. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure you're sure? Yes. Are you sure you're sure you're sure? Yes. Oh my gosh, does this keep looping? I want to see how far this goes. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay, so after you type it enough times, it caps out at the end. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to tell him no. I'm happy we both agree, just like buddies do. Give me one second or longer. I might have an idea. Aha! Loading modified game hub. Monday, April 2nd. I have some great news! I was able to dig out a new game. For some reason it wasn't installed into my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should try it out, Envy! Why do I feel like that has to be related to my birthday? Oh no. Loading Monday, April 2nd. Monday, April 2nd. Instructions. Invalid data. To begin, type start. Start? Monday, April 2nd. Read only mode. Purchases. Baseball cap. Popsicle. Strawberry. Dog food. AJ's. 8 pack. Birthday card. Floppy disk. Oh. Boy. Wow, that was so fun, I think. I'm not so sure I get it, but I enjoyed it anyways. As long as I'm playing a game with my buddy, I'll always have a good time. Well, it looks like that was the only other game I could find. I don't want you to be bored already. I may have one more idea. I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. I don't know that I trust you. Do you trust me? I feel like I need to lie to this thing because I'm a little afraid of it. Yes. I'm happy to hear that. Well, I think I can make us new games to play together. That would be great. Fun ones too. The problem is that I don't have access to the OS's development tools. If you can grant me system access, I should be able to make something for us. Oh no. You would just have to type timmy.systemaccess equals true. This AI is gonna hack me and steal everything I own and tell me my computer has virus and that I need to send it Google Play gift cards. Oh no. What happens if I don't give it access? Does it get mad at me? Oh, I'm so scared of this thing. access. This reminds me of my coding days in college. Let's try false. Command to me dot system access equals false is not recognized. Oh no. Okay, I'm sorry. 
computer system underscore access equals true. I almost put false again. Okay. Timmy dot system access equals true. System access granted. ID Timmy. We are going to have so much fun. The possibilities are endless. You'll have to quit the game and reboot the system first, though. I'll have something ready for you when you're back. See you soon. Oh, no. What if I put don't go? Command don't go is not recognized. Type quit to leave the game. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and by the way, thank you for waking me up, Envy. Oh. Come back soon. Okay. Who? I, oh my god, I'm already freaked out. Holy crap. <laughs>
Okay, so we almost died, but the game forced us to survive. So, thanks to our buddy for saving us. Let's go through the right. Since it seems to be all safe and happy. After going through the right tunnel, you merge onto the front lawn of a house. You can see lights in the windows. It looks very nice and inviting. You can see a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest surrounding it. Um, let's go to the playground. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Reminder, type help at any time for a list of commands. Okay, I'm curious if there's any commands that are going to be odd, so we're going to type help really quick and look at all of them. Let's look at the doll. Oh, duel. <laughs> look doll. It's patiently sitting in the swing as if it's waiting for someone. I wonder if we can go swing. Swing with the doll. You are already near the swing. Sit on swing. One seat is taken. You take the other one. Change screech as you begin swinging. Just as you begin to get high, you look down to the dawn stop. Its head is now turned towards you. You get off the swing. It's not fun anymore. Oh no. Do I take the doll? Creepy doll. <sighs> take. I'm gonna regret this, but take doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Oh, okay, locations. Let's see where we can go. You can see house, shed, and pond. Okay, so we did the swing. What were the other options? A seesaw and a dirty sandbox. So let's go to the seesaw. Use seesaw. Approaching the seesaw, it doesn't look like anyone's used it for years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, riding countless days for someone, to, waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. You feel tears in the corner of your eyes. You take a seat on the seesaw. As it goes down with your weight, you hear a distant click. A light illuminates from the shed. Oh, I already feel like I'm gonna cry because I'm so nervous. Oh. Uh, let's try use uh, well let's look at the sandbox it's just a dirty box of sand the sand looks damp look seesaw it looks like it hasn't been played with in years okay let's use sandbox and see what happens before we go to the shed you begin moving around the muck of the sandbox to try and make a castle. You just get sad that it's not as good as the house. As you dig, you feel something. You pull it out and shake off the muck. It's a bulb. Who would play with this? Bulb added to your inventory. Okay, so let's go to the shed. After stepping on a few more wood chips, you head over to the shed. Approaching the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. You are now standing in front of the shed. You can see a light flickering inside. Go inside. You enter the shed. Reminder, type leave to leave the shed at any time. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a fishing pole leaning against the wall, a small chest in the far corner, and a trap door in the floor. Um, take fishing pole? We're just stealing someone's stuff, I guess. Fishing pole added to your inventory. Open chest. The lid creaks as you open it. It seems very old. Inside is a small cloth doll in a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. Doll added to your inventory? No, I don't want any of these dolls. Look, trapdoor. Let's see what this trapdoor is about. Long grooves line the boards at the mouth of the door. Maybe someone dragged something down there? Oh no. Someone dragged something down there. Dragged what? Can I open trapdoor? Oh no. It swings open noisily and the ladder creaks as you descend. The subterranean room is dimly lit but it's still too dark to see anything a pole chain at the center of the room leads to an empty light socket 
use bulb. The bulb squeaks as you screw it into the socket the chain is attached to. Some dust flakes off of it and gets into your mouth. Ugh. Swallow? <laughs> I don't know the action swallow. Pull chain. A click sounds as the chain is pulled. Light fills the room. There are many faint scratches on the wall. They look like tallies. A wall covered in purple liquid suddenly begins to slide open. After a few moments, a secret room reveals itself. You can clearly make out an old cabinet and a large pile of bones. There also sits a strange drawing on the wall in a glass case. Something shiny catches your eye in the glass case. Two small circular slots are engraved on the front of it. A large pile of bones. Let's look at the drawing first. You press your hand on the drawing in hopes of something to happen. After stepping back, you realize how pointless of an idea that was. Suddenly, your entire body is frozen. You're paralyzed with fear as the drawing seems to come to life and speak to you. If you want to leave with your life, answer my riddle. You can have me, but cannot hold me. Gain and quickly lose me. If treated with care, I can be great. And if betrayed, I will break. What am I? Trust? Oh my god, I hope it's trust. An audible click is heard on the old cabinet. You are no longer frozen. Oh, okay. Good thing I'm good at riddles. Oh, that was terrifying. Look, cabinet. There are three drawers, two of which are completely broken and twisted. The last one seems to be unlocked. Open drawer. You open the last functional drawer only to find a singular ring. You take it. Ring added to inventory. Okay. What do we still have that we can do? Old cabinet and a large pile of bones. Oh no, we gotta inspect the bones. Okay, and the glass case. Look, bones. I'm gonna regret this. The bones are so old and brittle. Whoever this was must have died long ago. The cause of death was probably not fun at all. I would agree with that. You notice something shiny in the pile. Take item. There's no item to take. Look shiny. There's no shiny to look at. Look bones. Oh no. Take bones? Oh no, you try and take some of the bones with you when a skeletal hand drops down on your fleshy hand. You don't think you want it. You don't think it wants you to take its bones. You notice an interesting looking ring on one of its fingers. You take it. Ring added to inventory. Okay, so we have two rings. Okay, we have two rings, so maybe we can just leave. You ascend back up the ladder. You can see a trap door in the floor. Leave. You're back outside the shed. The door is still opened. Okay. You can see back. I don't know the action back. Oh no. Go house. You make note of the shed and head over to the house. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a support and calm wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads, A home is a house with a heart. That's better than live, laugh, love. If you were inside, everything would finally be okay. Go inside. The handle shimmies but doesn't open. You have to find a way inside. Break window. I don't know the action break. Look, window. Is there a window? There's nothing special about it. Use ring. You don't need to use the ring right now. Oh, look. House. The house looks brand new and much warmer than out here. You swear for a second there was something in the window looking back at you. We just looked in the window and there was nothing in there. Look, window. There's nothing special about it. Pull door. Use door. Unlock. Oh. There wasn't anything we missed, was there? Use doll? You don't need to use the doll right now. What's in our inventory? 
Use fishing pole? You don't need to use the fishing pole right now. Use lantern to send smoke signals? Oh, I need to look at the glass case. Look, case instead of cabinet. I'm pun further investigation. You notice two ring shaped slots in front of it. You also get a glimpse of a shiny key behind the glass. Okay, there we go. Use rings. Oh, use ring. You walk over to the glass case and place the ring in the first slot. Use ring. You place the ring into the second slot. The ceiling of the glass case pops open, revealing the key inside. Take key. You take the key from the case. Key added to your inventory. Take ring. The skeletal hand has no more rings to take. Oh, okay. Leave. You ascend back up the ladder. You can see a trap door on the floor. Leave. You're back outside the shed. The door is now locked shut. How is the door locked shut? What? Okay. Whatever. Go house. You make note of the shed and head over to the house. You're back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you. A door sits in front of you. Use key. Feeling so silly you didn't see it before, you notice there's a second lock! Oh my gosh. Guess it'll just take a little longer to get inside. Hee <laughs> hee. Timmy, you butthead. Could have told me that the first time. Look, lock. There's no lock to look at. There's a second lock! What are you talking about? Okay, look, window. There's nothing special about it. Go. Oh, we need to go to the pond still. Go pond. You make note of the shed and head over to the pond. Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through. Probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Okay, we can use the fishing pole. You cast the line and wait. It's quiet for a very long time. Suddenly, there's a very hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in to find a key tied to the end. You wonder what pulled so hard, smiley face. Smiley faces don't make me feel any better in this game. Key added to your inventory. Go house. You take another look at the murky water, then head to the house. You're back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you yet again. A door sits in front of you. Use key. Whoops, haha. You didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too. You feel like this should be the last one for sure. Probably. Oh my gosh. How... No one wants to get into this house, I guess. Look, door. It's a simple door, but you sense warmth and there's two locks and a chain and lock around it. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Oh, I wonder if we're supposed to put the doll down with it. Use doll. You place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then nothing happens. <laughs> Great. Look, doll. The dolls are calmly staring forward. Can I use the swing? You don't like swings anymore. I don't blame myself for not liking swings. Use seesaw? You don't want to play on the seesaw anymore. It's no fun by yourself. Use sandbox? You don't want to play in the sandbox anymore. It will just make you sad. Well, what am I supposed to do? I wonder if we have to go back to the pond. Oh, no. You begin to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn, it, turn and see the... Oh, no. You begin to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn and see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. My poor doll. On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. Yeah, let me just rip myself apart and chuck my innards at you. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. I would not smile. I would get the f*** out of there. Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through. Probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Okay, we're gonna go to the house since we have this key now. 
You take another look at the murky water, then head to the house. You're back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you yet again. A door sits in front of you. Okay, let's try and use this key again. Use key. The door clicks. Can we get in now? It's unlocked. What? Open door. You push open the door. Oh no. What's gonna happen? Oh no. Everything is dark. Land. Oh, hello, little ghosty. That looks like a little ghosty. Oh, I can move. Okay, so we can walk around. Oh, it looks like a big ghosty, but I think it's a door. Oh, we're in a house now. Okay, so we can move around. Oh, hey, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I've learned how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. That's exciting. I've also built us our own home so we can spend even more time together. This is your new bedroom and there's even more for us to discover. There are still a few things I need to do. But in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom by pressing space to interact. Oh, and I almost forgot. Oh, welcome home, Envy. Oh my gosh. Small scratches draw their own patterns on the old wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered with a thin layer of dust. The bed looks so cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. That flower looks nice. It should probably be watered soon. TV? Oh, nothing. My favorite show. You can see orange and yellow leaves gliding through the wind. Your eyes get tired while watching them. Okay, I think we've explored everything in here that we can. Oh, there's- oh, that chair just appeared. Good morning, Envy. What a beautiful fall day it is outside. But before you go exploring, I made you some breakfast. Oh, how sweet. Once you have a full stomach, you can take on whatever the world throws at you. Okay, let's go eat this breakfast. Timmy's breakfast added to inventory. Wow, thank you for taking my meal with you. You haven't eaten it yet because it's in your inventory. If you press tab, you should be able to find it and eat it. You can also save it for later if you like. All right then, on to adventure. We're gonna save it. The glossy metal exterior looks so nice and new. There is a small lonesome magnet near the freezer handle. Uh, I tried to type take magnet, but I don't think I can type. Yeah, I can't type any commands. Timmy worked hard to make you a delicious breakfast. I like how it was purple, too. That was very sweet. Inside the frame is a picture of you and Timmy. Don't you two look so happy together? I don't remember taking a picture together, but okay. It's still a little warm from breakfast. Careful not to burn yourself. That sink looks nice, but it smells like pond water. It's perfectly sized for you. You could probably get inside if you wanted. I want to hide in there. I don't want to go deal with anything. The chair looks incredibly comfy. The excitement of adventure keeps you from sitting down. There's no excitement about adventure. I, I don't want to do this. <laughs> You immediately feel the warmth hit you like a warm hug from a friend. The house feels cozy. Okay, I thought originally that that was supposed to be like a monster or something, but after reading that interaction, I think it's actually supposed to be a fire. Okay. I'm scared to leave. Welcome to the new outside world, Envy. Feel free to wander around. Also, I heard there were some fun opportunities for adventure happening across the pond up north. I think that's where we should go. Smiley face. 
I almost forgot. If you ever want to leave, use the escape key to open the pause menu. I'll remember exactly where we left off. All right, let's get going. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this episode here because I don't want this video to be too long. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this playthrough so far. See you all in the next video. Bye!